Here we go. I hope this recording finds you all after a wonderful Shabbos. Um, we're four lines from the bottom. On Chav Vav Amar Beis, we're going to go into the statement of Rabbi Huda in the Mishnah. Of Rabbi Huda Omer Ad Dalad Shos, so the Ad Arba Shos. So the Gemara just brings down that party, and you notice the two dots. There's like two dots before it, and then two dots immediately after it. That's a quote from the Mishnah. Rabbi Huda Omer Ad Arba Shos. Rabbi Huda says until four hours. What is it that Rabbi Huda says until four hours? One could dive in Shachris up until four hours into the day. And by the way, guys, we do hold like this. Even though Rabbi Huda is against the Chachamim, and usually the rule is we always go with the majority over the minority, this is one of the rare exceptions that we actually follow the opinion of Rabbi Huda over the Chachamim. And we hold that a person is allowed to dive in Shachris only four hours into the day. Not six hours into the day, like the opinion of the Chachamim, but four hours into the day. Now, that's why, like, remember in, in that sheet that we had in class, that there was that, it said, uh, so, when it says, Sof Zman Tefillah, Sof Zman, that means the end of the time, or Tefillah. So if you look there, it always is calculating it according to the opinion of Rav Yehuda. If you want me, I'll show, I'll show it to you again in class. You could, I have it still in, um, in the base Medrash. You'll see, I'll show it to you, that it says Sof Zman Tefillah. You'll see that it's always four hours into the day. Okay, now let's go. So Rabbi Huda Omer Adalit shows, Ad Arba shows, Rabbi Huda says, for, until Shachris is until four hours into the day, up until four hours into the day. So now the Gemara has a question. When Rabbi Huda says, Ad Arba shows, until four hours into the day, did that mean until and including the fourth hour? Or until the fourth hour, but not including the fourth hour, just right up until the fourth hour. But right when you get to Mr. Fourth Hour, remember that, guys? There's Mr. Fourth Hour. Right when you get to Mr. Fourth Hour, it stops. It's already too late. So now the Gemara is going to ask that question. Let's see. Ibayilahu, the third line from the bottom. Ibayilahu, the Bnei Yeshiva have a question. We have an inquiry. An inquiry we explained is a question of is it like this or like that? Ibayilahu, we have a question. Ad until the ad bechlal and until is included in the time, meaning that when I say Rabbi Yehuda Omer ad arba shows ad until four hours and four hours is included. The thing that you're saying ad about that you're saying until about is included in what was included in whatever it is that you're speaking about, like ad arba shows like a and shachris until four hours until the fourth hour. So until the fourth hour and including the fourth hour, O Dilma, oh, there is a comma, Ad Vyad Vachal, comma, O Dilma, comma, or perhaps, O Dilma, or perhaps, Ad Veload Vachal, until, but until is not included in, what you, in the Zman of Tefillah. So Ad Veload Vachal, until the fourth hour, but not including the fourth hour. Ad Veload Vachal, until, until, but not including. So let's, now the Gemara is going to go to prove, to go into looking to how can we answer this question. We're going to look at other statements made in the Mishnah, and if the, we're going to see what did the word Ad mean over there. And we could assume that if Ad in there and elsewhere in the Mishnah meant one way, Ad V'ad V'chal or Ad V'lo Ad V'chal, then also in the first part of the Mishnah, a Rabbi Domer Ad Ar Bashos, we'll assume that the word until means the same thing. So let's see, this is... Now, Let's see. So it says the Gemara. Tashima, this is a traffic sign. Literally, it means come in here. But really, what it's always going to mean is that we have a proof. We're going to try to bring a proof to the question that we asked. Tashima, Kama, Rabbi Huda Omer Ad Plag Hamincha. Elsewhere in the Mishnah, we said Rabbi Huda says Ad Plag Hamincha. With regards to when you could dive in Mincha, Rabbi Huda said it's until Plag Hamincha. So now let's go and analyze this, okay? So this is the Rabbi Huda Omer Ad Plaka Mincha. That's a quote from the Mishnah. Now we're going to go, the Gemara is going to discuss that part of the Mishnah, and it's going to show that we have a clear proof from there that either Ad Vi Ad Vachal or Ad Vulo Ad Vachal. Now let us see. E Amart Bishlama Ad Vulo Ad Vachal. If you say Ad Vulo Ad Vachal, then Bishlama, it is good. Like from the word shalom, peace, everything's good. 
is peace. If you say ad v'lo ad bechal, then everything's good. In other words, if Rabbi Huda said ad plaga mincha until the time period of plaga mincha, but not including the time period of plaga mincha, hainu de ika. Then now we're on the last line of the Gemara. Hainu de ika bein Rabbi Huda the Rabbanon. Then we find that there's a difference between Rabbi Huda and the Rabbanon regarding what time you could have in mincha until. Why? Because the Rabbanon said that you could dab in Mincha ad ha'erev. If you look back in the Mishnah, you'll see that the Rabbanon said that you could say Mincha until Erev. Ad ha'erev. Now, Erev, if it's in, in the case of days that we were dealing with in class, ad ha'erev, Erev is 6 o'clock. We learned a, a perfect day that starts at 6 o'clock and ends at 6 o'clock. So the evening it begins at 6 o'clock. So Mincha ad ha'erev means until, until 6 o'clock. So now, Plag HaMincha ends also at 6 o'clock. It begins at 4.45 p.m. And it ends at 6 p.m. So if you say that Ad Plag HaMincha means until Plag HaMincha, but not including Plag HaMincha, so then Rabbi Yehuda said that you're allowed to dive in Mincha until 45 until 4.45, which is the very beginning of the time period called Plag HaMincha. Called Plag HaMincha. But, if, now let's continue, Ela'i Amart, in the middle of the bottom line, Ela'i Amart, Ad, Vi Ad Bechlal, but if you say, Ela Bat, E Amart, if you say, Ad, Vi Ad Bechlal, that when Rabbi Yehuda said, Ad, he meant, until and including Plaga Mincha. So then Rabbi Yehuda, we're turning the, going over to the next side, to the next page, Chavzayin Amar Aleph, Rabbi Yehuda, Hainu Rabbanon. Then Rabbi Yehuda is the Rabbanon. It's the same opinion. Hainu Rabbanon, Rabbi Yehuda, Hainu Rabbanon. They're exactly the same thing. Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbanon both said that you could have a Mincha until 6 o'clock. Because if they said, Rabbi, Hu, Rabbi Huda says, Ad Plaga Mincha, until Plaga Mincha, and including the time period of Plaga Mincha, so Plaga Mincha ends at 6 o'clock, which is exactly the same thing as the Rabbanon. So what's so bad about that? Why can't that be? Let there be peace between Rabbi Huda and the Chachamim. The answer is that, of course, we would love for there to be peace between Rabbi Huda and the Chachamim, but we know that there isn't, because the Mishnahs brought down the opinion of Rabbi Huda and the Chachamim as if there are two separate opinions. First it said, Rabbi Chachamim say, Ad, ad Erev. Rabbi Yehuda Oimer, Ad Plaga Mencha. So why would the Mishnah have to bring down a separate opinion of Rabbi Huda if he really is saying the same thing as the Chachamim? It must be that Rabbi Huda means to come and argue with the Chachamim. So, if and now, there's only a disagreement between Rabbi Huda and Chachamim if Rabbi Huda, when he said Ad Plaga Mincha, when he said until Plaga Mincha, he meant until Plaga Mincha, but not including the time period of Plaga Mincha. Because then Rabbi Huda is saying until 4.45 and not until 6 o'clock. That, then it's good. Then everything's understandable. Okay, we'll stop the recording now. I'm going to make it into a second, a second piece. The next one, because this is the end of this, by the way, guys, is the end of circuit 12.